we are reading the story that is titled One Dark Night. When I look at this cover, it makes me think that it could be a spooky story because I see a cat and some lightning and it looks like it's dark as night. One dark night. One dark night. Lightning flashes. Count the seconds before thunder rolls. storm is two miles away and coming closer. <coughs> Jonathan looks into the night. Something small and dark is looking back at him. He races downstairs, throws open the screen door. The stray cat's afraid of the thunder. He tells his grandparents, stray cats aren't afraid of storms says his grandfather. Look out! I think she's got a mouse! cries grandmother. But Stray Cat is already inside and laying her prize on the rug. It's a kitten! says Jonathan. One small kitten, soft as whispers, gray <coughs> as dawn. Lightning spills into the room. Thunder rolls. One, two, three, four, five. Broom! The storm is one mile away and coming closer. Stray Cat dashes into the night. Come back, calls Jonathan. He steps into the brooding dark. But Grandfather gently draws him back inside and pulls the screen door shut. Jonathan lays his bathrobe on the rug. He snuggles the kitten within its folds. We'll take care of it, won't we? He asks. As ever best we can, says Grandmother. Oh, but how can they take care of anything so <coughs> small? A scratching at the door. Two green eyes peer back at them. She's back, she's back, cries Jonathan and races to the door. Stray Cat enters carrying a second kitten, soft as stuffing, white as snow. Lightning flashes, count the seconds before thunder rolls. One, two, <laughs> the storm is half a mile away and coming closer. Stray Cat darts into the night before the last echo fades. Outside, a great wind whips the trees and hurdles single drops of rain. Splat! Splat! Jonathan warms the kittens in their bed and looks into the night, watching, waiting. This time when the lightning comes, it splits the sky with wild white brightness. There's no time to count before the thunder cracks. Broom! A hard rain drums the roof and pounds into the grass like something angry. There she is, cries Jonathan. The next moment, he's outside too, to help them battle through the rain. One boy, one cat, and a third small kitten, wet as water, Black as night. The rain pours. Jonathan drips puddles on the floor. Are there any more? He asks Stray Cat. Do we need another trip? But Stray Cat climbs into the bathrobe, licking, nudging, and arranging her family. There they are, one Stray Cat and three small kittens safe from the rain and the wind and the rolling thunder, safe with Jonathan, safe with his grandparents, one dark.